Now for question number two. We are told to show that given the vectors below, so we are given three vectors, vector 1, vector 2, and vector 3. That satisfies, so y y you've been told that there are solutions of the system this. So we are told to determine whether these vectors form a fundamental set. So fundamental set simply implies that you want to check whether the three vectors are linearly independent on the interval negative infinity to infinity which would also be seen as a set of all real numbers so we want to check where these three sets of vectors are linearly independent on the set of all real numbers that is for all t that belongs to the set of real numbers that's what we want to check and then we would recall in some of the past videos we've done so far that for the case of um, maybe you have two functions and then you want to check whether two functions are fundamental all you need to do is you take the run scan when you take the run scan if your value is zero then that simply implies that the two functions are linearly dependent and if it is not zero then they are linearly independent so the same thing is going to happen here if you're told to verify that three column vectors are actually solutions of a homogeneous system to check whether they are fundamental all we need to do is we check the run scan so we check the run scan now by the time we take the run scan of the three vectors if the answer is zero then it implies that they are linearly dependent but if it is not zero then they are linearly independent in other words we take the run scan so what i'm saying is if the run scan of x1 x2 and x3 if it equals 0 then that implies that x1 x2 and x3 they are linearly dependent dependent that is what it means but if but otherwise otherwise that is if it's not equal to 0 for all c in the set of real numbers then that would imply that x1 x2 and x3 are linearly independent that's what it implies so let's try and let's let's, let's start by checking that so we want to find the wrong scan of x1 x2 and x3 now find your own scan is just the determinant of the vectors x just placed the same way they are so you can see the first one we have here is x1 so just place the vector the column vector x1 the same way it is into the matrix so we have 1 6 negative 13 then the next one is x2 so just place it the way it is so 1 times e to the power negative 40 that is e to the power negative 40 negative 2 times that that is negative 2 times e to the power negative 40 then negative 1 times that that's negative e to the power negative 40 and then the same thing here to for x3 we place it just the same way it is the same orientation you don't need to change it or put it transpose just put it the way it is here so you have 2 e to the power 3t 3, 3 times e to the power 3t is 3 e to the power 3t and the negative 2 times e to the power 3t that is negative 2 e to the power 3t this is what we have so finding the determinant of this so as usual we all know how to find the determinant so that's going to be we have 1 times that so we're going to have negative 2 e to the power negative 40 so I'm annihilating this row and column so I'm left with this then 3 e to the power 3t then minus e to the power negative 40 minus 2e to the power 3t so that's what I have then minus e to the power negative 40 that is this negative 40 here then into 6 minus 13 then 3e to the power 3t 2e to the power 3t and then lastly 2 that is plus plus 2e to the power 3t into 6 negative 13 and then minus 2 e to the power negative 40 and then negative e to the power negative 40 
so this this is what we have so all we need to do is we need to simplify we need to simplify that so let me write it towards this corner so I don't model things up so by the time you multiply all this so what we're going to have is negative 2 times negative 2 that is um, 4 e to the power negative t then minus 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 this is plus plus 3 e to the power negative t the same thing happens here negative e to the power negative 40 into 6 times 2 that is 12 e to the power 3 t then minus minus and minus is plus 13 times 3 that is 39 e to the power 3 t then plus 2 e to the power 3 t into 6 times this this is negative 6 e to the power negative 40 then plus this is minus times minus is plus so we're going to have minus 26 e to the power negative negative 40 then when we simplify this whole thing what we're going to have is minus 84 e to the power negative 40 which is not equal to zero because we know that the exponential function is always positive and then if the exponential function is always positive a positive number times 84 or negative 84 can never be zero so that's why the product is not equal to zero and then since the wrong scan of the three functions does not give us zero then we could conclude by saying hence the set the set x1 that is the three vectors x1 x2 and x3 is a fundamental a fundamental set in other words a linearly a linearly independent independent set actually it's meant to be called linearly independent set but in the field of differential equations they, this this is this is what this is the term they like to use for calling linearly independent set they like to use fundamental and then fundamental just simply implies it's a basis and then it spans the solution space of the um, linear homogeneous system so that, that that that's exactly what it means and then that completes the problem